Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to reverse engineer a project. Now, reverse engineering is where you basically look at a project and go, okay, I think I have an idea of how they did that. And then without looking at the code, you go and recreate it. So for example, this is a maze game that I made uh, back when I worked at Desert Thunder. And it makes it so that you can use the arrow keys to move the uh, player around. The world is moving all around you. And if you touch the green, it sends you to the next level and then the world moves differently and if you touch the black it sends you back to the start of that level now if you were reverse engineering this you would start with maybe the player controls and go hmm it makes it when i press the up uh, arrow and then it makes it so it moves up when i press down it moves down etc so you might try and figure out how to just make the sprite move then the next thing that you might do is you might try and make it so that the level moves like in the first uh, level and then after you figure out how to do that, then you might go, hmm, but what about the second level? This one's moving differently. And so you'd find each little chunk or each little module inside the code and you would go and uh, reverse engineer that. Now, if you get stuck on any of them, what you can actually do if you're reverse engineering the project and you have access to the code is you click see inside right here. And then you can read through the comments or look at the code to figure out what's going on to try and uh, fix the little thing that you're trying to do or to figure out one little thing that you might be missing. Once you figure that out, then you go back to the project page like this and you don't look at the code anymore and you keep trying to reverse engineer. So the point is to try and think through how you might do something rather than just copying what other people did. So the point of reverse engineering is to think through how you would actually create the project rather than just copying what somebody else has done in their code. So if you're going to reverse engineer, try and watch a video or actually just play through the project page. And if you get stuck on something, you can kind of peek inside and look at the comments or look at the code and then go back and keep working on the project by just thinking through how you might create something similar. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.